Well, for some of the subjects we deal with in this program, I'm certainly glad we're behind the glass of the TV because I'm betting there are times that people actually throw things at their TV set, especially when we deal with a subject like what we're going to talk about today, stubborn farmers and how to manage them. Elaine Fraze, you speak regularly at farm meetings across the country, and I'm sure when you deal with touchy subjects like stubborn farmers, no one's ever thrown anything at you, have they? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Not that you've been hit with Not yet. that I've been hit with. But I did have a woman in Woodstock come up to me this week and, and say, Kevin, you know, I really appreciate that teleseminar you did. I, I first uh, breached this topic through the CanadianFarmCenter.com yeah. farm webinar. All right. What, uh, let's go right to this. Who are stubborn farmers? Well, I think they're the ones that are stuck, Kevin, in a, in a way of thinking that it's either this way or this way. And they also tend to be workaholics. Mm -hmm. And they tend to be um, folks that are, have that sort of my way or the highway. Yeah. So I don't care what you think, we're doing it my way. Wow. Drives younger farmers crazy. And, and is there a reason why they're stubborn? Are we, are we just born that way? Or? Well, I just think it's, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, they, they are stuck in that way of either or thinking. They mm -hmm. don't see the and possibility, so they don't see a lot of options. So these are people who don't do possibility thinking or option thinking. They're also very uh, control oriented, mm -hmm. and they tend to be very poor about relationships. They have very low emotional intelligence. Really? Well... It's not about you, it's only about me. Okay, I follow you. So, so why would they bother thinking what your perspective might be? And they also have a win, I, if I win, yes. you lose kind of mentality. Do you see what it is? Yeah. So it's either I win or you lose. So give me some examples of these types of unresolved. Well, the one yes. that, that I find most often in farming, particularly between younger farmers and older farmers, is in... in Managing stubborn farmers is really about polarity management. Mm -hmm. And what a polarity is, it's an unsolvable problem. It's like in farming it would be we have a pole of planning and then we have action. So younger farmers want more planning. Older farmers say, there's too much work to do here. Let's just get it all done. We don't have time to sit around and talk. Talking is a waste of time. So that's one polarity. Another one would be work and rest. Mm -hmm. Another one would be independence and dependence, which we all know in terms of the letting go process for succession planning is very hard. So a polarity mm -hmm. is managing an unresolvable problem. You're never going to fix it. It's just going to be managed. So if you camp in either one of those polar positions, obviously it's a source of conflict. And that's, right? when you're, that's when you're managing a stubborn farmer. So what you need to do is take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. So we inhale, we exhale. Oh, the yeah. metaphor is just like breathing. Sure. Are you going to stop breathing? Right. If you stop breathing, you're going to die. So it's like managing that. So let's talk about planning. A young farmer wants to do a lot of planning. Kevin, what's the upside of planning? Not making mistakes, getting things done, right. um, not missing marketing opportunities. Right. What's the upside of action? No it's wasted not, energy. Uh, yeah. People learn how to do all the different jobs that you need to do. In the, so you need to see the upside of each poll. Now, I, so you really partly talk, there's a balance issue here. There's a clash of values mm -hmm. as well happening here. And fear. What does that mean? Well, if you fear planning, if you highly value action, your greatest fear is we're going to spend all day in the house planning and the work's not going to get done. Mm -hmm. Your fear is that we're going to lose energy. Your fear is that um, things are going to happen outside that we need to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. And if you flip that around, if you value planning, your biggest fear is that you're, you're, not, you're going to miss market opportunities because you haven't been doing your market plan. If you value planning, you want to know, hey, Dad, mm -hmm. when are we going to get those agreements signed? Gotcha. Oh, we don't have time for agreements. We just got work to do. <laughs> now you talk about cracking the code of stubbornness. Is it? How, why do you call it a code? Well, because I think, you know, people just say, "Well, just leave him away, mm -hmm. leave him alone." That's the way he is. Right. And I don't believe that. I, I believe it's your farm, it's your family, it's your choice. 
everybody always gets to choose their behavior. So you crack the code of stubbornness. My question is, why is dad being so stubborn about this? Is he afraid? Is he stuck in this either or thinking? Does he have control issues that he has to be the winner and you have to be the loser rather than we'll win win, we'll do this dance between planning and action? So to me, cracking the code is not letting people to keep acting the same way they've always been acting. Wow. Great place to leave that. And if you want to know more information about stubborn farmers, you can watch this discussion online at agvisiontv.com. You can also see a webinar that Elaine re referred to a moment ago called Managing Stubborn Farmers. It's online as well at farmcenter.com. Just before we go, uh, here's the website. If you'd like to read more of Dr. David Cole's Rules for Farm Management, he can be found on the Royal Bank's online advisor at rbcroyalbank.com slash agriculture slash ag advisor. Also, if you Google Dr. David Cole, you'll be able to find his work. Thanks to our sponsors, NK Syngenta Seeds, farmcenter.com, Bear Crop Science, and Farm Credit Canada. Until next time, Visit us at agvisiontv.com.